Hello everyone, welcome to f to Explain 11 and this look at um, the RV designs that went out for Explain 11, uh, which I bought during the Black Friday sale. Uh, I'm Andy, and today we're going to do a short hop from Arlanda Airport in Stockholm, just outside Stockholm actually, uh, and up to up to Uppsala Airport. So let's go inside. Um, turn these things off. Before starting the engines, so this is a pretty cool plane. Um, when we start it up, we'll do battery on. We'll go and turn all the beacons on. Anti collision lights, precision lights. We'll go no smoking, less and seat belts. So I think then we'll go down to this panel here. We need to turn the fuel bomb boost pumps on, which is pretty simple. You just flip them off on there only there there's a test version there but it doesn't work so then we'll start number two engine up first we'll just have to record the starting time so we have to keep track of that so i'm doing this flight on uh, epic economy so so we'll start number two engine up i have uh, the starter switch is uh, set to keyboard command so i'll just press those so just pulling up, we see a nice thing, temperature, or pressure, no, sorry. So, now, right, so in the green, so we can release the starter switch, or we'll rise up, or we'll go up here, around 30% or so. Good. We'll go up to the overhead, turn on the generator, switch to reset, and then back to on. Oh, too far. Uh, sometimes it's sort of tricky. Reset and back to on. Release. So we'll start number one engine up. We can close this one once we get sort of a little win. This here is spooling up, it's starting to turn. Our instruments, proper premium is rising, temperature is rising, CD, GD, I guess that's gas temperature or something, rising. So it's in the green, we we'll can release that starter. Good, go to the overhead panel, that overhead panel, generators, oh, generators on, no. Oh. Not working. It is on. Reset. On. Okay. That's it. We'll use P to heat on. Uh, set the environmental controls to auto. Um, if we manage to auto. Good. Let's start our stuff here. So we're gonna take a routing out. It's gonna be a. It's a really short flight. It's like. 15 not even miles or something. We'll take a VFR route out over a place called Vasunda, uh, uh, which will go off the 297 radio. Uh, we haven't set that up, but we'll set up Vasunda in here, go direct. And it has the funny code in, in explain X E Echo. Sierra, 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 Sierra 4, Sierra and 4, no, oh, another way, so bus in the, go, enter, so we have that here on our GPS so we can find our exit point, uh, we can set up our altitude, oh, sorry, Oh, 1500, no, 2500, no, 1500. The clouds are kind of low today, so set up our altimeters set. So, okay, give it some flaps. And by the way, this is not a tutorial, and uh, I'm not a pilot, so don't. I mean, this is not like an instruction video. 
This is just me fooling around. So we're going to take off runway um, 19 left. Because that's where the winds are today. So there's a little bit of taxi down there. And then tag climb at 600 feet and then we'll turn right and go direct to Asunda. And that's our exit point. And then it's just a short hop from Vasada up to um, to um, Uppsala Airport. So I, I don't, I'm not sure if I'll record the entire flight. Just maybe, maybe. So this is a pretty cool version. I don't, can't, I don't know why, but I can't get any pilots in the front seats there. Um, probably something I'm doing wrong. I'm not sure, um, but anyway, I can't. And I'm not following some uh, I, I, checklists. I should probably follow this checklist, but I'm not. We can set up um, this to no, I'm done. Oh, yeah, this to to one. No, sorry. Just don't want to miss the turn here. We can set it up to our lander VR, which is one one six zero zero, and then we'll uh, flip in the radial two nine seven because that's the one we're going to follow out to Vasuna. Then we have the, both the VR navigation, radio navigation, and GPS set to Vasuna, so it should be okay then. And let's see. 116. Set. Arlanda, check. So Arlanda. We just need to set this up. So, uh, one thing I don't like is that you can't really. I wish you could to use the mouse button, uh, no, the wheel, mouse wheel, to to fine tune it. Uh, you can't do that, so it makes it a little bit tricky. Turn the jeep, uh, like transponder to altitude. At the backup pages that I do. Two nine seven or ish. Two nine seven ish. So if we're gonna we're gonna take off runway one nine left and then we're gonna do six hundred feet and then turn on our way uh BFR and up to fifteen hundred feet. So because the cloud layer is kind of low, if it's then probably we'll come back and land one nine right, right or one nine right. Um, so that's not going to be a problem. Uh, if we need to, we could actually climb into the cloud layers and go F FR our GPS our uh, radio one is set to one one eleven thirty five, which is one nine left. Um, it will be like 109, no, 185 on the course, which we can set up then if we need to go back and fly an ILS approach. So, let's take it easy here, stop. So, we'll do strobe slide on, tax lights will be on, set flap set, landing lights on, and transponder is set. Need to increase our prop so good. The full forward. See that there's no traffic on the final. No, oh, looks good. Okay, so ready to go. Everything is looking good. Increase power. I think this is one of the difference between X-Plane and FS2004. It's, it's quite easy to actually set the correct power. 2004 it bobs up and down constantly, so I have to get it to work. Eight knots. Okay. Tap the brakes to stop the wheel from spinning. And we can bring up the flaps. Six hundred feet will go left. 
absorb, right? Probably hard to do in real life. I don't know, in a traffic situation on a Sunday like this. This is recorded on a Sunday, by the way. So props slightly to run so around 90%. Like so. We'll just overshoot it slightly so we can. Back on course, so intercept our two nine seven radial. So almost at our. We'll see. I'm getting close to the clouds here. Okay. Yeah. Start leveling it off, so we don't go into the clouds. So fifteen. We'll keep it below fifteen hundred. So we have a little bit of distance up to the clouds. Use shop RPM more to 80%. That's about there. Just about when we insert the radio. So Vasunda is one of the VFR entry and exit points to Arlanda. Um, I'm gonna put a link in the description so you can find the charts for Arlanda which are freely available from the government agency. Sweden that handles that. Uh, which is Transport Stevenson, I think. Like transport Racket. Well, uh, never mind. I'm going to put a link to it anyway. You can find the charts for Arlanda if you want to go there. Here, there, here. Arlanda is the closest airport where I live, or the closest main airport where I live. Just live outside of Stockholm, too. So we should be able to see it. Also, know it's up here somewhere along the water side there. I actually pass by it quite a lot. I do pass by it when I when we go visit visit, the in, visit our in-laws, my in-laws. They're not my my fiance's in-laws. They're like his her parents. So we do go there quite a lot and pass by Basenda, which is a small small airfield. They have kind of cool airfield because they have quite a few Mi2 helicopters there. I think they have two now. They used to have three sitting there, just sitting there years, on years, uh, over the years. So we could use autopilot if we want to, but this is pretty nice to hand fly. It's, I mean, it's, it's a stable plane, easy to trim, no problems. We could actually turn off our taxi light. So as I said, this is not a procedural uh, tutorial or anything, and it's not a tutorial, tutorial at all. It's just a look at this Payway aircraft. So the link is to the Payway aircraft is also in the description if you want to see that. Um, it's just me. So Vasunda is up here, I think. I oh, should be up here. And go. I guess before the GPS, GPS should be pretty. Good. So here you go. Here it is, Basuna. So this is the road I usually come up here, come down here, and then continue on this road here to Main Loss, uh, which live uh, north of Uppsala actually. So this is kind of feel. So along here they do have the helicopter standing. So in real life it's quite. This is quite high. In real life. It's pretty cool plane, a cool airfield, small grass airfield. I'm gonna try it out. So now we are over Vasunda, so this is the exit point on Orlando. And then we go VFR, we're gonna go out here and gonna swing up to slightly up to north to go head on to Uppsala. So we can set that up direct. Should be able to do no, that's not it. What do you do? Nearest. There's. How do you do? Uh, 
that's not it. Here. Nearest. So okay, so here we go. I'm not an expert at this. Direct. Yes. So there's direct routing for Uppsala. Slipping the altitude slightly there. Weather at Uppsala actually. Let me check that out. It doesn't say it will go with the same as Stockholm. It's a 230 at 12 knots and the 230 at 12 knots, so that will be suddenly, suddenly rival. I think that's the runway 21 which we can use. I don't think it has any now. So, 26, I would guess, is a good. No, 21. We'll go to one. No, two six two one. I will go two one two six two six is shorter. So no IFR. And it has to pause because it has to load the thing. That's the one of the problems we explained. It does have to load some stuff. Well, and that takes uh, actually sometimes a few minutes to load, which is sort of annoying when you're flying. So I think we'll go to six for arrival. Um, don't know. Do you want to follow me? Do you want to go with me until we land? So we two three minutes. We can do that. You get to follow me until we land. It's not a long flight. Uh, so this is a f an FS economy flight, so I land at uh, Uppsala, and then we're going to load there, and then I'm going to head on over to Tiapari, which is actually where my in-laws live, which is a bit north of there. But that's not a long flight either, but I'm not going to record that. I'm going to leave that here. So this is one of the suburbs, I guess, of Uppsala. I don't have it turned up in tops because it kills the frame rates. Well, it doesn't kill the frame rates. It, it makes the frame rate sort of bad. Mm. I did actually build a version of uh, Uppsala Airport in for FF FS2004 where uh, it's actually photo scenery. You can find it still. It's online somewhere. So we'll go slightly to our east so we'll have a good approach to the runway. I don't think this is a, a problem. As long as we stay out, we, uh, we don't want to enter the Marlana control sector again, but we're staying out of it. So it, there should be a roundabout, which is actually a holding point for Marlana Airport, and there's a, a reporting point called Danmark Schirka, but I do don't think that's set up here. So you can see the airport up there. That's a minute and a half off. Can turn our tax lights on again. This is I mean this is a pretty cool aircraft. I like the model. It works pretty flawlessly. I, I don't have anything to compl complain about except the thing with the rotating buttons would, would, which would be nice if you could do that with a mouse uh, scroll wheel. Scroll wheel. But otherwise I think it's, I don't have anything to complain about. So, getting close, we'll start reducing power, bringing the, our, our props again. So here's Uppsala and there's the airport, which is actually like a, an old military air force base, and it's still military. I don't think they actually do fly, well they try flying civilian stuff from their um, airplane or flights, I don't think they actually did much, haven't achieved that. So, 
So we're gonna go, if you see here, we're gonna come in this way, land up that one runway. So here we can bring up 150, we can bring up some flaps. Bring in some power to 130, no sorry, 30 flaps. Hold the head up, I need to trim it slightly. Need some more power. So this is base, this is where we could probably call base T6. Um, start training to our final, we can reduce power slightly more. speed, don't want to destroy our little flaps. So, almost final. Oh, it's a pretty good final turn, actually. Oh, well, we're not there yet. So, slightly high, that's not a problem. Long, long runway, so. So, final, flap set, props full, landing lights on, and ready to land. Nice wind seems pretty straight uh, straight up there. No, actually, wind sorry is way off. That's a problem. It doesn't really up always update as fast as you want it to. See, focus. Good, pretty good touchdown. We could reverse. It has reverse, and that will slow down pretty fast. Especially if you bring in the brakes also but so I have set uh, reverse setup so I press control R and then you can pull forward forward pull the power forward and they have reverse power um, so let's bring up the flaps give it a little bit of power so we can taxi on them into our ter not terminal it doesn't have a terminal bring the prop levers back somewhat down there. Let's see, I think we can go off here. If I'm not mistaken. This is quite a narrow though. Should probably gone down other place. So bring out uh Slow it down, we'll bring out the strobe lights off, pitot heat off, uh, from taxi, we'll, even though it, most modern airports will probably leave the transponder on, we'll go off on that one. Then we can set the environmental to off. So, I should have gone off here, it's a wider taxiway of this runway there. Should you use that one instead? Oh. Everything is quite narrow here. I'm gonna go left here, taxi onto the terminal. Oh, sorry, I keep saying terminal, it's not terminal. Onto the ramp or apron, apron maybe. More correct term. This is slightly wider. Uh, so this used to be an active Air Force base. Um, it's it does it's still an Air Force base, or it has some military function still. It used to be actually it actually used to be the school where you trained uh, fighter pilots. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if that's the only. I mean, that that was back in the days when there were a lot of different Air Force bases in Sweden. Now there are like four, three or four or something. So not a lot left. So everything is centralized. Uh, I think the training uh, fighter pilots, well, the, the basic training is at Malmen, which is out North Shipping, and then you go to, for your place, you get placed in different places, but uh, I think the type rating, you wouldn't go into your keep and training, you go to, uh, where is it? 
this lead chirping, I think. So, let's see if we can find our way onto some sort of apron here. Oh, here. Oh, this is break a little bit. So, uh, here's an apron. We can use this one. Parking brake set. We'll go and not that one. We'll go and turn off our tax lights and then we'll turn off a few. So that's pulling down. Can open the door. Pretty good. Um, Turn on uh, position lights on and anti collision lights off. So, short VFR flight from uh, Stockholm Arlanda to. to. what do you see? What did I do? Uh, to Uppsala VFR. So, um, I'm Andy. If you like this channel, please subscribe. If you like this episode, please hit the like button, leave a comment or share. And I will see you soon. Take care, everyone. Bye bye.